outside the district office of California Republican Congressman Daryl Issa, a crowd covers the sidewalks. We came back every week and every week it grew bigger and bigger. This one, the biggest yet, say these constituents, smelling blood in the water. Their congressman won his seat by a razor thin margin. Russia Gate! Russia Gate! Why don't you investigate? Joining in the fight, this woman and one other operative here are with the Democratic Party. Democrats grabbing onto the Fuhrer are targeting candidates they see as vulnerable in 2018, look, like Daryl Issa. But the rest in this crowd of hundreds are volunteers and constituents, many a part of the grassroots group called indivisible. People in this room have had it. They are ready. Like the ones who filled town halls across the country this weekend, from Texas to South Carolina. Trump care was toast. <laughs> <laughs> Newly fueled by the health care bill being pulled, these constituents in ISIS district continue to flood Washington, D.C. inboxes with postcards and emails, turning now to urging more action over Trump's ties to Russia. Target your postcards to ISA, Trump, and Nunes. We're asking him to take a leadership role. Ellen Montanari says she's politically active for the first time in 25 years. You better get up there. She's the mom hey. of an adopted 14-year-old girl with special needs. Her health care covered under Medicaid, critically important for them. Montanari calls the shelving of the Republican plan a victory, but she's not ready to quit. This isn't a one-time thing. It wasn't just health care. We high-five each other, we go eat pizza, and then we're done. We're in this for the long haul. A feeling shared by Mary Schrader, a stay-at-home mom who has been outside ISIS office week after week. Who did you vote for in the primary? John Kasich. I have always been a registered Republican uh, until after the primaries. I feel that the Republican Party has changed so much over the last eight years. You like my onion head, Trump? Trump, to me, has been an abomination of what the Republican Party ever stood for. Do you think you can keep this up for four years? Yes. I, I, I'm motivated. and I mean, there, there are weeks that I, you know, need a break. <laughs> and I take a vacation. And then I, you know, and then I'm angry all over again.